Hello Aquarius. So this is going to be your reading for May 15th through 31st end of the month. Hello. <laughs> so I meditated and prayed. <clears throat> Pull a, a card for you and we're going to talk about it. So it is the cross. Okay Aquarius. You feel stuck in something. Okay. Um, like you have a cross to bear. Like you have something to prove to someone or even to yourself. Okay. About someone or about something. Okay. I feel like you are letting yourself go. You know you're trying something. You're a free spirit. You're opening your arms. You're like let's see what's going to happen. You know let's see what's going going on. And I'm really focused on the fact that she's kind of transparent and um it's like you're trying to show yourself you're trying to show maybe somebody what you have to offer or what you can do um yeah but there's there's a feeling here of looming disaster like uh trying to stop that from happening almost all right aquarius so let's see let's get into some overall energy and then we're going to dig deep into your psyche and then I'm going to pull some oracle cards, okay? So, situation. Spirit, tell me about Aquarius's situation, 15th through 31st. Two cards fell right out, okay? Um, confusion, not clear. Not clear on what's happening, okay? Feel like you're losing out on some dream that you had or some hope that you have um, because of that confusion yeah but you're giving like i said you're sacrificing yourself you're trying really really hard to make something happen or to see what's going to come out of it okay so let's see the other person the person you're dealing with is coming back in okay um i feel like they're trying again with you but it doesn't feel like it's going anywhere they're not making the moves that they need to end it though um they're just kind of i feel like they're just dangling there you know answering doing what they need to do but it doesn't feel really deep to me it doesn't feel really deep because they haven't made a decision on you but i, I really feel like you want them to and that's why you're putting in this effort yeah you feel the separation or there was a looming breakup right and you feel like it was a failure or that it was going to be a failure you don't want it to be a failure though um i feel like you're not strong enough to deal with it being a failure and that's why you're trying you're trying you're trying you're trying <laughs> okay so let's get some conclusions There's an offer coming in. This could be from someone, this person. Maybe not. I'm not feeling that. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, this is you. This is you. Okay. Trying to break free from what is going on. Um, I feel like you're going to know. Because there was this confusion here at first. But I feel like you're going to find out what the issue is. Or you're going to know what the issue is. Right? And this is telling me that it's not going towards anything solid. And you're you're going to start to feel like it's not going towards anything solid. It's like you're aware of that. No matter how much love and affection and attention that you're giving, it doesn't feel very solid. Okay? This person is... This is what I'm hearing. This person is a good person. Okay? They're not a bad person. But the thing is, they're coming in and out or they may have a love offer coming to them. Yeah, that they feel stable in, or you, right? Um, but this this is going to come and interrupt what's going on, or what's happening, either for you or them, okay? So let's dig into that mind of yours, Aquarius. You had two cards fall right out. Right out. Okay, let's see what's on the bottom of that deck, Aquarius. Knight of Cups. King of Cups. Lots of emotion here. Right? 
I feel like, like I said, I feel like there's love coming in. But I feel like it's you. I feel like it's you trying to give love. Or you trying to do what it is that you need to do, right? Um, to get things where it needs to be. <clears throat> in your relationship or in this situation. But I, f I feel like it's going this way. So I feel like you're starting to lose the momentum because things is, are starting to change here. So it's going, it's going from you knowing that you want this, feeling like you absolutely want this, to trying to get it back or trying to get what you had back or what you felt back. So we start off with the seven of coins. <clears throat> um, you're working really hard on this, Aquarius, okay? You're working really hard on it. You're being you're being very gentle. You're being very kind with your words. Um, you're being very um, smart about what it is that you're doing or what it is that you are saying to this person, to this situation, because you don't want it to end. That's why you're doing that, okay? So... Yeah, I feel like there was a message that somebody wasn't happy or that they were going to move away or you felt like they were going to move away and then you started picking up conversation, you started picking up messages. This could be them doing that, okay, um, or, or picking up your communication, okay. Things started to move and that's what's making you feel like you need to work on it or that it needs to be worked on, okay. Someone is really important to you. That's why the Empress is here, okay? This could be a um, someone that you see growing with you. Um, I feel like this person makes you happy. I don't know why I feel like the Sun card is involved in this somehow. It's not even on the table, so I don't really know. But you feel like there's really a connection here. I feel like you're waiting on a choice. Um, or you feel, you feel a lingering feeling like you need to make a choice yeah okay it's like something needs to happen something needs to move uh there needs to be some something to me to let me know that i'm out of the doghouse or that things are going to change this person is not really offering anything stable i feel like they're not talking messaging or moving forward towards you like they used to or how they used to um and that is what is bringing the, i feel like this this movement in right endings the world card means that you're coming to an ending maybe not with this relationship but just this thought process or this activity that you're doing right <clears throat> or bringing it into something there's confusion and not working together there's going to be an ending to that the chariot the chariot talks about you moving forward right so that's where you are moving forward trying to move forward trying to get things to move forward trying to be that open communication trying to start something new um in that communication realm or or uh get in someone's good graces you know but with the full car here is telling me like you're starting to get intuitive about what's happening and that things are not changing that things are stuck that no one's taking a risk it's not moving past you trying to do everything or you um trying to make the situation better or whatnot okay then we have the devil the devil being held on to something you're starting to look at this situation differently and you're like okay i've been single before i can do this um there's not stability here um i really want it to be but there's not right and it feels like this person has a hold on me in some way and i should not allow them to have this type of hold on me okay moving forward you have the lovers you need to make a decision on your love is it going where you want it to go because you're getting tired and you want to let go right your, your direction is being forced somewhere else. That chariot that you had there. That feeling that you had that I really want to make this work is kind of getting distracted. You're going to choose to separate yourself, I see. Because that's what's fair to you. 
you're not you're not feeling like you're important enough you're not feeling like you're special enough you're not feeling like they're paying you the type of attention that you need and i feel like you're gonna separate yourself and start something new these two cards are right next to each other okay so you definitely i don't know what side to put this on so <laughs> so you definitely feel like you want to to try something new or go in a direction um, of something else there may be someone else in Aries Leo or Sagittarius right but you're tired of choosing your words you're tired of worrying about what's going to happen and you're going to take control of that and uh, move forward okay so Aquarius Oof, you had three love cards fall out you have I love you You are waiting for them to say this. You're waiting for them to say something. Maybe not this. But you're just waiting to feel that love. You're waiting to feel that connection. That openness that you may have felt once before. That you want to. Yeah. It's all about you wanting to feel a certain way Aquarius. You want to feel magic. You want to feel connection. and You want to feel like you're minds are in sync like there's something there and not like you're making it or they're making it that way the only thing that is real is love shift your focus and the problem back to love and that's what you're doing you're shifting your mindset into trying to make someone love you and sacrificing yourself into what love really is and what it means and now I know why the world card was there next to the chariot yeah it's putting an end to the old, putting an end to that old mindset and the old ways of doing things and moving forward into something, but also knowing, you know, what's for you and what's not for you. Okay. Like I said, okay, you're moving, you're moving out of a knowing into kind of like a maybe or kind of like a you know I need love too type of feeling I need romance you know we're not working on this the way that we should be working on it you know okay remain positive Remain positive in your life. Remain positive in a situation. Even though it is what it is. It's not telling you to hold on. It's just telling you to remain positive in your mindset. Don't think harshly of this person. You know. Um, it just is what it is. Oh, this is so perfect. The armadillo spirit. The armadillo says set healthy boundaries. Set healthy boundaries with this person. I know that you want love and I know that you want commitment. And I know that you want this to work because you feel like you're kind of grounded here. But there has to be more healthy boundaries. You can't be the only person doing things or vice versa. It's not, it's not safe. It's not good for you. So thank you so much for listening, Aquarius, and I will see you next month. Bye-bye.